G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I hope you liked the new intro. Um, someone made a really good suggestion that I should film like three or four of them and then alternate them. That's not a bad idea. Someone also suggested that I change the song. But, I, I hate... I just took the keys out of my pocket. I need the keys. I hate trying to find royalty free music and it's as simple as that. And, um... I kind of want people to like associate the song with the channel so if I change the song that'll change that but I don't know drop a comment if you think if you're sick of the song um, so I've got too many flower horns not such a not a bad thing not a bad thing um, so as you guys know I got the waterfall tank sorry it's pretty black um, I need space to set that up so today might be just cleaning the shed And I say might, because have you ever tried to get motivation to clean the shed? It shouldn't be too hard. It should not be too hard. Should I do it? Yep, I'm going to move this rack. I might put you guys on a hyperlapse, what do you reckon? If, it, if I knock it all over, it would be a, a good laugh for you. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so now that I've cleaned that spot up, and if you made it this far through the video, because I know that would have been a bit boring, um, I'm going to paint the bottom of this tank. But, I've got to flip the tank over, so I figured I would record that, because if I smash it, I want it on video. I'm not going to smash it, surely not. I can do this, I've got this. You have the power. Alright, where can we put you? Back here. There, I reckon that's a good spot there. All right. So I've got some cardboard to lay it down on. A bit nervous. This thing is heavy, guys. Oh, 
Oh. Well, I was ready to admit defeat then. Man, this is heavy. Is heavy, like heavy times three. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, I got that like halfway over and I got so scared. All right guys, I'm just going my standard color. I think it's called like fun and games. So it actually came up in conversation today with Blake's Aquatics and, he was, and we were talking about um, tank color. And I've had a shitload of colours, including like black, navy green, light blue, I mean navy blue, light blue, um, and I just find when it comes to breeding cichlids, blue is the best. Display planted tanks, I would say black is the, black, the best, or dark blue, every colour that I've had has got its pros and cons, but basically with um, African cichlids and especially flower horns, blue works best. Black background with flower horns washes them out, they go black. So, unless it's going in my house, I'll always go blue. Um, I fully understand if like somebody, obviously there's going to be people that are watching this saying yuck they hate blue, but there, there's a reason everybody has a different favourite colour, no, none of us are the same, so you pick what colour you want. Alright, so I've got a hot tip for you, if you're painting with one of these little rollers, just grab a sandwich bag, close it up as much as you can, and I found if you do that you actually get a couple of days out of it, not just a couple of hours. Alright guys, so, alright, so a bit of time has elapsed, for about an hour, just went inside, watched some YouTube myself, and uh, there's something I want to talk to you about while we put down the second coat. So, I've been toying with the idea of using TikTok for a while now. I do watch TikTok a little bit. I find it quite interesting. Some of you might think it's a bit silly. Some of you might agree. Um, but I always, I just feel like I'm a little bit too old to start creating on TikTok now. But I did it. So I posted a video of me dropping a bristle nose into the planted tank. And it's actually got 150,000 views. Now, I know in the TikTok world that's not crazy big, but entry level viral is 250,000 views so I could be going the right way of having a viral video guys imagine if like I put all this effort into YouTube and then TikTok is my avenue towards becoming a full-time creator how funny would that be um, in saying that, I don't think I really want to be a full-time creator. Um, a lot of the people I see doing it full-time, they don't actually seem that happy. So, I'd be happy with the compromise. I would love to quit my job one day and work part-time and actually 
do fish as a proper registered business. And so like YouTube slash fish. But at this stage, that's just a pipe dream. All right guys, so I've got a third coat on. I managed to do three coats over about th two hours. Um, I've put the styrofoam on the bottom when it's wet and I'm going to try and stand it up when it's still damp because I want the styrofoam to stick to the bottom because if the styrofoam sticks to the bottom and I can slide it around without the styrofoam falling off I won't scratch the paint off the bottom so that's the theory behind that so I, I tried to stand it up by myself I couldn't do it so I've got Ange here to help me don't grab the yeah, grab there. All right, so it's in position, not without its frustrations. Um, it made me a little bit grumpy basically um, where it was where it was sitting I, I stood it back up I should have left it sitting there and let the paint dry with the styrofoam underneath and then the styrofoam would have stuck to it and slid instead I was like I want to get it in position so the styrofoam actually slid on the bottom as I was pushing it over and because it's quite dirty so you're not really going to be able to see but if you look you can actually see the styrofoam that's gross you can actually see the styrofoam through my old motorbike pants that'll do through the paint which saddens me a little bit but it's not the worst in my tanks like this one over here it's actually got two different color blues look see that patch in the corner so a little bit on the bottom's not too bad. Um, I've got to get that bottom brace off because, or that that plug cap, because I'm going to put a bottom drain in this because you know how I roll automatic water changes, and you can't do automatic water changes without a drain. And if we put a drain in the bottom of this, that means I need to put a frame underneath this tank. I'm not sure if I already said this in this video, but. I'm just going to make a 90 millimeter timber frame up and it's going to go underneath this and I don't know where the drain is going to run to to be announced because like there's yeah there's no <laughs> no nowhere to run a drain to around here unless I drill a hole in the fish room for wall and run it all the way through there it's an option but it's not my favorite option um the other thing would be just to drain it out here but I, I don't like that idea because the because the hill here it will actually run back in and end up rotting the frame that's under this because the the frame that I'm going to put under here is going to be sitting straight on the ground anyway guys anyway you guys don't need to hear all that technical jibby jabbery stuff um, I can work that out off camera and then I'll let you know what I decide I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more, hit that little red button on that side, I think. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.